Siplot TV is your number one real estate TV, promoting sustainable accountability, responsibility, and excellence in real estate worldwide. Watch and subscribe to Siplot TV on YouTube channel, powered by Siplot Profile Limited. Siplot TV, your investment house. <laughs> Without wasting much time, let's with capping of vision, let's make a call, Mr. Coach Park of Ajay, as we move straight to our topic this morning. Thank you so much. Okay, good. Good morning, everyone. Uh, everybody's looking so uh, a bit cool. <laughs> the cold outside, like the Amatan is getting closer. <laughs> good morning, everyone. Greetings to as many of you that are connected to us online live now and uh, Asaba. Thank you for joining. <laughs> uh, Enugu, thank you for joining. There's a lot of stuff to deal with today. So welcome to class. As many of you that are listening and uh, welcome here. Welcome to Cplat Profile once again. And don't forget, we are always here ensuring that everybody is game towards success. Thank you so much for always having me and I appreciate the management and the team. And uh, today's topic is a bit um, different from the normal one. But the class here you're going to have now is it's, it's one of the best you can ever talk about in the industry. Let me explain what I mean. People do real estate but they don't really know the business consultants. A lot of us out there we say I'm a real estate consultant. We don't know what we are doing. I'm telling you. <laughs> Many of us actually sit down there. And just say we are related consultants. If you ask them what the related consultants is, they don't know. They don't even know the function. This is a topic we do, and then at the end of the day, we have exams, and then we write, we get a certificate. But for now, we'll just do a little we can do that. That is, you know, it's actually online of people that are not here, and those are actually watching us from uh, other states, and those are actually watching us also outside the country. Uh, let us learn a little about real estate today from the beginning to where it is. Let us explain some things about sales to us. It's not all about just talking about uh, marketing, marketing most time. Let's look at the reality of uh, real estate so that will really help you to become a better person in this industry. And real estate consultancy and land banking itself, <laughs> from the look of it, you will get to see me in a different clothes there. And you will look at me what I'm, what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a clothes that I can go to use on the site. And uh, this is actually a vest. I just need to just add my cap to it and I look like it. <laughs> I went together. So this is more of works that has to do with the business itself. How does it look like to be called a real estate consultant? Who is a real estate coach? Who is a realtor? Who is an agent? Who is a broker agent? Who is, what is brokerage? All these funny things that look as if they are crazy, they are funny. They are very important in this business. So that you can speak the language and the essence of this class. Let's look at the, the uh, outline. You cannot do this course without dealing with stuff relating to uh, land matters. So that's why I'll be, I'll also be talking about land of machine a little bit. But this is not the focus though. These are the core parts of the session. But I will be dealing with this part because you cannot succeed in the business without talking about titles and documentation. So I'll be explaining some of those things to you. Now real estate is life, real estate is king, and real estate is the reality of life. Uh, I said it earlier before that uh, God is the author of real estate. How do I know? He was about to start the creation. He did a first survey. He did an inspection. <laughs> he did site inspection. What, 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 what was that? He went around, said you open around the deep. That was what? Someone said it. Inspection. Say, say inspection. That was inspection. He was inspecting. Then later he got to a level. He said, okay. It's like this word, eh? It's shapeless. What do I do? Let me give it shape, survey, <laughs> look at it and give it a particular kind of structure. Then later he said, ah, everywhere cannot be water and uh, let us get some parts and feet. And that's why I had what called the dry land and the wetland. So everything is about, about real estate started with God and started from the beginning. So real estate is life, that's what I call it. Let's look at the definition of real estate and what it consists of. Look at it. Real estate is property consisting of land and the buildings on it. 
is property consisting of land and the buildings on it, along with its natural resources such as crops, hey. minerals, or water. Immovable property of this nature and interest vested in this also is also referred as, 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 as an item or of what? Of real property. So S can mean property. I'm careful about whatever I write to. More generally, can also mean buildings or housing in general. Look at it. Also, the building of real estate should also be dealt with. Don't talk about real estate. So we're looking into those area too. Then look at it here. The business of real estate as the profession of what? Buying, selling, or renting land, buildings, or housing. It is a legal term used in what jurisdiction whose legal system is derived from the English common law. Please listen to this thing with grammatical. I'll be speaking a lot of things that look like uh, law, law stuff today because of what I'll be saying with you. And now, please, the essence of the training is to grind and ground you to a level. And when you are talking, you can understand where is this guy coming from. I know my business. A lot of people actually say they graduated with uh, two ones from uh, electrical engineering. They only know the particular time, they cannot explain themselves. Ah, let me make this a bit uh, clear. One of my brothers, very good, sound in IT, went to a company for the work. Very sound, I know what he can do. Sit down, let us do the stuff. They gave them back loud. Is it what, is it what, they call it oral, right? Oral test. Oh yeah, tell us what, how you can do this thing in writing. Hey, not do that. But well, he knows the job. So it now means that even as we are getting to know real estate practically, we should also know it also in oral. We have to write it down. There are many people that have lost opportunities because they cannot compute or put things together on paper. That's why we have this kind of class. Let's go further because of our time. Because I want to tidy up before 12 so I can have questions and that's when we're done, we are done. we're done with this class. Let's look at it. I cannot do real estate today without talking about the types of real estate. That is why I always emphasize. So those that are listening to us, listen to this very well. Sensitive. But if I go back to the previous slide, allow me to go there. Let me show you something. You will see that real estate is beyond just talking about selling, selling and buying or whatever. It's, there are a lot of things involved. Now, why should I know where I belong? Because of the client and how to deal with them. Someone asks you now, what kind of real estate do you do? <laughs> That's you. Say, are you into selling of land, buying of real estate? Or so you call yourself a realtor. Who truly are you? We'll get to know whether you're a realtor or not in this thing, in this topic. Then you may change your name, maybe. Types of real estate. Real estate has so many kinds. But there are three types here. And number one is what the residential real estate, we have the commercial real estate. The apartment building is under both of this. I will explain what I mean to you. Let's look at this screen. They also have the industrial real estate. The residential real estate has to do <laughs> with a scenario whereby you have buildings like what I said, okay, I want to buy into real estate for apartments. I want to buy real estate for apartments. I want to buy into real estate for, uh, you know, to build a duplex. I want to stay there. Residential is the most popular of them. We, to us, you know, it's the most popular. But to some people, it's not the most popular. To some people, it is commercial that is popular to them. Because they buy buildings, or they buy structures, or they buy uh, spots or plots for commercial activities, like what? Hotels. There are people that will never buy land from some of our estates except it is commercial. Because they don't have, they, 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 they see no need. <laughs> so if I understand that kind of person, what then do I do? I will then work with it in such a way of communicating to the client or the prospect based on his need. Are we together? So it's going to come back up. It's going to come back up. So it means that we need to know residential, commercial. The last one is what? The industrial. And say, so what kind of plot are you buying? It's industrial plot. Okay, how do I know it's industrial plot? It's bakery. And when it's used for what? For bakery. It's an example of what? An industrial plot. These are sensitive areas to take note of. So those watching online, please take note. <laughs> when you are part of us and you are selling real estate, you have to know this part. I'm trying to hurry this part because I have a lot of slides. To explain, I have not entered there are about 40 slides here. It's just number four. If you look at the aspect of selling real estate, you will need to know that real estate has its definition. Fine. When I buy a land, I have access to the mineral resources on the land. You know, in the village, they will tell you that 
they are not selling this portion. Why? Because they say there is oil on the land. They knew. <laughs> because when you buy it, ah, that means you will buy both the oil joint. That is real estate. They why there are some land, they will tell you, we are not selling to you. We are leasing to you. You gotta know all these things so that you can know what you are dealing with. So that you can ask the question, okay, I am buying this thing, but I want to use it for this purpose. Can I turn it to this later? You need to know why who is buying the property so that you don't have issues. There are some of our clients that have bought from us, but the truth is that they don't want to build there. They want to use it for farming. And the estate may not want them to have a pond in the estate. So it's very sensitive, you know all these things. Very sensitive. That's the essence of all these uh, things. I'm not going to emphasize here. I'm going to the next slide. Look at the next slide. Who is a real estate consultant? I've started the class. Who is a real estate consultant? Many times we say, I'm a real estate consultant. Listen, you are not yet a real estate consultant until you understand this. You are still a marketer. <laughs> so let's get this land. Let's get it. Let's get, let's get on point. Let's understand where we are. Who is a real estate consultant? I said it last time, the last time I came here. That a consultant is an oracle. You consult him. When we say we want to go and consult something, everybody say I want to go and consult the gods. <laughs> want to go and consult the gods means that what? He's a god in the field. He knows so much. He knows the updates of what is going on. He's in charge of something. So I want to explain to you what a consultant means. Who's a real estate consultant? Look at it. Can we read together, please? I want to go? Just the first paragraph. A real estate consultant. Is a unique role involved in the process of purchasing or selling properties. Am I here? Probably I am. Let's go for that. Let me read for that. Unlike a traditional real estate agent, consultants are optional for clients. A consultant is someone that already has it as a client, already has a client already. Not someone that just okay, I'm just marketing, market, market, and all that. It's a consultant, means that already consulting you. You already started the work. This is the place to see. However, you can provide clients with value added services, including asset management. That means we need to study what asset management means. All these things you are seeing here asset management, uh, what do you call it, uh, market analysis, modeling, and lease management. Let us understand these things. Let's break it down. Asset management, managing assets, managing it. So, sometimes you can, can they give you a property like you, they buy it through you. And it is in your hands. You can manage it. You can fence it. You can take charge of the fencing. You can take charge of some of the things that are there. You know why I'm teaching this topic? So that the people that are marketing for us, or that are promoting our product, or that are calling themselves consultant of our estate, will sit up to start seeing themselves differently. Start looking at it, okay, 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 okay. This is what it means. They get to know where, where they are going and all that. They get to say, okay, I am accountable, or I should be accountable to these areas. Market analysis means what? Studying the market. They are selling this estate here. Which estate is closed? Which one is what is going on? Check online. You see what's going on. You know why you can why you should sell your deal. What value do your own have over others? What is happening currently in Delta State in Asaba precisely? What is going on in any good? Why is the land selling for 5.5? Is it million? Why is Enugu expensive of that land than the one in Lagos? What's going on there? <laughs> this is a sensitive, sensitive area. You say, how can I buy land in, Le in uh, Enugu for 5.5 million land? When I can buy the same land in Lagos, I'm popular. For 1.2, I'm getting an instance. What do you say? <laughs> Start breaking it down, okay? Sir, on the market analysis, that area is this part goes to the government. Mm -hmm. Explain what you are talking about here. Say, sir. The way you are talking about those things, you still have land in Lagos that is 50 million now per plot. But what happened is the location, the value. So these are the things that, you, that will come into play. Market analysis. What then is modeling? Modeling also can also mean to do other part. Like you know, I said, market analysis slash modeling. Whereby you try to look at it as okay, well, this is actually standing out. This is the concept behind this estate. It's high time people like us who are claiming to be consultants. Start understanding how to read layout. So I will plead with someone to go and get me a layout. I will need this very soon. I need a layout. I will have told you earlier before I came. I will need a layout sample to show you how it looks like. How to explain a layout and other things. Because that's what makes you a consultant. You get to know how many plots on this estate, how many is remaining, and what other stuff and all that. It's very sensitive. Let's go for that. Your client may range from individual, that is, as a consultant, from individual 
investors. That's personality, own person and all that. To business owners, put our own businesses. To financial lenders, we get the change. Other people and all that. Can you to all these people like that? Like only going to all this area of uh, they give money, bankers, you know, companies, firms, third party intermediaries and all that relationship. Now, in relative consultant, primary responsibility, in case I ask, is to provide clients with assistance. Listen to this place. I love this place very well. Can we say it well? Throughout. Say it. Everyone say it well. Throughout. <laughs> Not just calling him. And he has made payment. You forgot to about him. It's not all about, hey, please make payment, make payment. They just the someone paid one million now for something. Then that's okay. You've forgotten about him already. You've forgotten about his content of say, what that document is going to get. So, so throughout the purchasing or selling process, purchasing whether you are paid for the land, it is you that the consultant that is held responsible to go further to get this receipt, to get the, an invoice, a contract of sale or a sales agreement. You get everything ready. You know that I call in the office. They should make it available. I call my client. You are the one to stand in between. Even if the company is going to acknowledge and still chat them privately and all that and give the information, you should be in the picture. That's the consultant. Throughout. When I, I look at this one, I, I want to circle it. Self. I forgot. Use a pen. I just circle this and put it here. Because throughout is the problem we have been having in the real estate consultancy business. Marketers are those people that will just sell the product, they forget about the person. In fact, when you ask them the next day, they don't even know the face of the guy that I was saying. He looked like one of my clients. <laughs> he looked like <laughs> they don't even know him. Throughout, in order to help them achieve their goals. Look at this last part, goals. They said, I am going to buy the land. I want corner piece. You did not even care when your client made payment to find out whether they are giving him corner piece. That means you have to be there doing the part of what? Allocation. Consultants are those that should be held responsible for issues of their clients. But then we have people like this sitting up and we say, okay, we have consultants. There will be less stress for companies. Because we will then know, okay, your client pays all the time, you have the document, you have the receipt. There is no of asking your client for the work, receipt. You should be the one to have all these copies for the copy of everything. What are they sent to your client? They can send to you. You copy and keep it somewhere. That's what makes you what a consultant. Next slide. The assistance. Listen. Because there's not much time. That assistance can include what conducting what analysis of current industry trends and possible what investments. You don't need to rely only on what the company is saying. So okay, uh, they said proposed. My brother, go there and check. Everything is proposed too much. Go and check what is actually happening there. If possible, you can. Google. <laughs> check. Know how to use Google Map. Do that like watch. Enough of laziness in the real estate industry. It's not for those that good that call themselves marketers. And they didn't call my clients well. Did he help me? You should do some things about it. Very sensitive. And said, let's know where you fall. Let me know you are a marketer, not a consultant. If you want to be a consultant, you must be ready to take the book. Take it, hold it well. So, sir, I'm leading you to Vatican Estate. Asaba, this estate is the, you know. If I look at it now, you see this road here? We are standing in the gate house. You know these things, you need to know them. So it is you that will ask the company, please share, share this thing with me. Let me get this information. I have not gone there. Can you explain to me so I can know what to say? Because if you don't know what to say, you're not a consultant. And you become a consultant first before you enter into becoming a coach. Yes, let's proceed. When I will get to that level, you will you understand what I'm saying when I get there. Look at it. Varied financial portfolios. What does it mean? Let me say varied financial portfolios means that different kinds of uh, price tags on different estates around the terrain. The terrain. Why is this one cheaper than my own? Why is it expensive than my own? I'm not saying you should advertise other companies by the side of your presentations. I'm only saying be aware. Be aware seriously that in such a way that in case they ask a question. When I was driving, I saw the Nigeria brewery by this side. Okay, what is going on there? Have an idea. Know what to say. You need to learn how to answer a question that you don't have the answer. This is what I say. <laughs> Look at this. Learn it what? Answer a question that you don't have the answer. It's very, very crazy, right? <laughs> now, how do you do that? Someone is looking at me and laughing at what the Christopher just said. Answering a question that I don't have the answer. They asked a question. The Nigerian guy saw it. So really, oh, okay. 
it's one of the development and uh, you know it's one of, know what to say even though you are not answering the answer just say something don't say eh, really you just stop say this one doesn't even know it takes me to go where I say I know what I'm saying let's proceed there are times to just let us know you have to it was in dealing with the current condition and the comparative to determine the words of what is going on in that area so let's look at comparison now we just consultant back so we have to Let's look at it. Compare it. Someone actually asked me when they say that what is the between real estate consultant and what is the between real estate? Let's look at it now. Let's read where you can read where you are. You're watching. Real estate consultants and realtors play very different roles in the housing market. Though their duties and what responsibilities as responding to your ability, as you know responsibility, might overlap at times. It can switch. A consultant usually what advise clients. Ah, how can you advise somebody what you don't know? <laughs> yes, they what they advise. They're like they like like semi lawyers. They know a lot. For you to advise somebody, you have to be an elder. <laughs> it's only elders that need to bring. Enter the high issues in church, and it's getting out of hand. They bring the elders into it. If someone's having issues in his family, and it has to do with in the village. It's the elders that will come and what come into the matter. They feel the elders have grey hair. And when they meet grey hair, wisdom. They have, they have experience of how they are managed. They don't be one elder, several, and all that. So what I'm saying, advising clients on building. How can you advise someone on building or investment activities if you don't study what it makes to build? The other day we had Mr. Chika Naji, one of the members of the training finance, I wish I'm the head. He was here. He began to ask questions. What has building got to do with real estate marketing? Well, I'm telling you. You feel so, it doesn't really help. You should know those things because it will help you in telling the client why he should buy a land that is dry and what he can do from a land that is wet. So, sir, this land you are buying now that is matchy, that is not perfectly dry, you know, it's going to cost you to do this particular kind of foundation. Is it raft? Is it a, what do you call this? A pile? Foundation for this? And then, this is the, this is the amount, these are the expenses. So why not go for this one instead of going for this one? Or why not go for this one instead of going for the other one? Because I feel you can still do this. I can help you out with this. So you know what to say. That is why all these classes are becoming here. So we are all working together to get all this. So we are balancing what we stopped last time into the picture. That's why I can add it here. It came before I came. Building or investment activities. What is going on there? How many of you know what's happening now in the It's just happening in the way we In that good day, finally. What is going on about Lagos State? What is happening in about the coffee in some other places? What is going on? Check. Watch the news. Consultants must learn to watch news and not Telemundo. Only. That is sensitive. Telemundo is very good. No problem. But when it's 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 4, please check. Check the news. They buy a newspaper. Not the ones that say, please, read that picture where they show those uh, celebrities. They are reading all the news. They don't read what's happening in the country. They're not informed. Sensitive. A realtor helps clients buy or sell. A realtor is very for more the consultant. See, he helps to buy, which means a realtor is someone that says, okay, I want to buy the property for you. I can buy it. I can pay. Pay the money to my account. It's different. Listen. Now look at the only reason why they can do that is because this particular realtor is a registered member of the union. I'm coming there. If they consult her, no. So I'm always touching this stuff. Sorry. Let me get that done. It's shaking. Just help me fix it. So look at so if I say I'm a real estate consultant, I'm a realtor. They look alike, but they're not the same. The realtor helps what? To buy. So the other one gives what? Advice. You can follow you, you can give, you can guide you through the process. Yes, you can have a consultant that is a realtor also. You can be together. When he's stepping out of that office to the other office, then you will get to know by what he's doing. Let's proceed because of our time. Because I look like joke. It's only to eleven. Look at it here. I said somewhere there. I stop somewhere here. A rental helps clients buy or sell. Which they can buy, they can sell for you. You know, and they can also so that's the job of a realtor. Both professions typically require a real estate agent. Now look at it. That means a consultant needs what? Because what? A real estate agent. Ah, they're not the same. 
not the same. Look as if they are the same, they are not the same. Or, broadcast what? License in your state. That means he has the license to do that. If he doesn't have that, you know that if we are to go by most of these books, a lot of us will be arrested. Many people in Nigeria will be arrested. See, you're a director, come over here, check. Check this guy's name. Is he a director? <laughs> Then I said, you know that this guy is impersonating. Arrest him quickly. <laughs> Why they arrest him? Because he's just claiming to say he's a police and he's not a police. Red toes are like people like, like police. They are officials, like doctors. You say you're a medical doctor. Really? And someone will take it up with you. It's okay, let's go to the, let's go and prove it. <laughs> and check, you don't have any license. You can be arrested for impersonation. Let's go. You obtain one by completing what accredited course and passing a state exam. The state can issue such license. Let's proceed to no much time. Now let's look at the consulting industry. Real estate consulting firms provide research, analysis, and what advising services. This will help you to design a site for yourself if you want to do one. See, I'm a real estate consultant, so what I think I should know how to do? I go to provide research. Check all the five estates in that area, look at their prices, their details, how much they are developing, every other thing, and then I check my own, check everything, I can know why I can sell this one. Then I can look for a way to get something that, that do not have another estate that is my own. Some say they have having solar, some say they have having so those are extra extra things that make them, give them a reason to buy this, this or that. Look at that. Don't forget to clients such as what? Construction. Imagine a consultant being what into construction. Developers. Into the construction developers, then what's what called investment banks, mortgage lenders. If I'm you, I will take this thing down and start Googling and writing them. Then you go and know what mean of mortgage lenders? What mean of uh, uh, investment banks? Who are these people? Some consultants provide services to many types of business or investors, while others specialize in a particular type of clients. As a consultant, you can either work for an established firm that already provides the service or you start your own. That means a consultant can either start his own business of research, analysis, and advice. Like a counselor. A consultant can be a counselor, he's a real estate counselor. This is not just a marketer. They want marketers now. They are the one that just said, okay, we sell this estate, we have 30 plots. We just want to meet you. We have this estate for sale, though, and this is what. That's okay. What can you tell us about the survey plan? I don't know. Wait, for let me call the office. Do that move. Do that market has. <laughs> because so that we say, okay, um, uh, the survey, finally, the survey is ready to start with this, and we currently have so so number of plots in the estate. Who sold 52? It's remaining about 40 something. You say, really? Okay, finally, now, we are also securing a place for you are in front. That's a consultant. He knows the work. He can start a company. He will start a company and all that. Let's proceed to the title. The role of a consultant, please take all these things down. As a consultant, you typically start a relationship with a new prospect. A relationship but with what? A new prospect by meeting with him to discuss objectives. That means they are relationship managers. They are allowed to manage relationships. For example, a Property developer, look at it, might need to learn about the viability of putting in a new strip plaza. While an investment bank may want to diversify into what? Real estate investment. You need your advice. That means, consultant must learn to read seriously, critically. Yes. After learning of the client's uh, objective, you prepare what? Necessary research tools. And set out. To schedule to perform and report on what? On research. For the property developer, your research may involve site based visits. Consultant goes to site. <laughs> they go to site. Site based visits. Meetings with what? Community officials. They can meet with Omonile. They can speak. And locate real estate what? Professional. And local, and local real estate what? Professionals, you can also locate. I want to put some locate local real estate professionals. You can get them online, like those platforms I gave to you the other day. As well as a secondary research compiling data that provide direction on what 
brother trend in regional property development. Brother trend, you have a way of meeting your fellow realtors and all that. This is a topic that is different. Please understand where I'm going. We are still in the <laughs> section. Let's look at the aspect of uh, the, the agent. The, you want to go, you have to go the buyer's agent, the, list, the buyer's listing agent, seller's listing agent. And then what happens most and whenever you do all these things. Let's look at the next slide. Listing agent realtor. Look at it. Look at it. Realtors usually fall in one or two different categories. A real estate listing agent or a buyer's agent. A real estate listing agent is one that actually is one that sells. You need to know where you fall in. You know. So it's like, okay, I've agreed. I'm a listing agent realtor. I'm a consultant. No, I'm not yet a consultant. I'm a coach. No, I'm not yet a coach. You need to choose where you are now, far, far. So you can, so that you don't be saying something wrong. So you can know, okay, I was a realtor, so yeah, I became this, this year. I used to say, I was a trainer when I started. I grew, I didn't become a coach, all of a sudden. If you become a coach just like that, means something is wrong somewhere. That's someone saying that he became a general overseer, and they're asking him, where did he serve, and where did he, who taught him? He doesn't have any base. That church is nowhere to be found. That means they don't have a father, ah, just leave this guy alone. Does not have a place he started from? There was no growth process. And I, I can't believe this person. How am I sure he has experience? <laughs> we have instance. So, a listing agent we talk. We need to know all these things. And I would like us to do a little test if we can do it. Maybe later. If I don't have the time, if you can comment or if you can get in the group, I may give some more gifts that will do something like that. See that here? Real estate listing agent or buyer's agent. No, some do both. Now what I mean is, sometimes you may be the one that brought a client to buy a property. And then, the body he bought, for instance, <laughs> may be that they are going to pay you 5% from the buyer, then 5% from the seller. Now you are going to know where you stand. Because part of this topic is called, I know we have consultants here. And I know we also have people that are doing real estate marketing here. Who not always sell, not always, not always that they are always selling Vatican, Vatican, Vatican. Vatican. They may have things like rent. They may have things like they sell a building. So they don't have problem in the negotiation and how to track what they've sold is what I'm teaching. So I will teach you how to generate documents. And if somebody has taken your percentage before, how you can catch the person. Wait to and watch now. Just to see. We are still getting there. You will understand so when we enter there. The woman is getting a name. The woman is getting a name. The woman is getting a name. The Nigeria is getting a name. The Apa is getting a name. The woman 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 is Dina eba na po obe ago oknano obe ago oknano ade na akuku centenary city estate in those obala ni buru 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 doctors quarters jedidaya estate diaspora estate in ine estate i 5.5 million naira per plot for 460 square meter me o se so bi agbara na keta ebe o ga bu iti na egodi di na ra ni era ko do gaba an me meta na anya unu ko unu bia ti na egu na Estate a real real estate what listing agent listing when you go online to go and use gg.com g.ng i mean to say you will take it to a place you will tell you to post your advert list your advert that means those people that are selling that promote are called what listing agent is it clear those ones that bring the people that buy it i'm coming to their own part not yet there you can understand where we are going now so he enters look at this she then enters the property in the local real estate multiple listing service and markets the property within the community. When a buyer wants to see the property, the agent informs the seller 
Come is on the seller side, not the buyer side. So you can be like that. It's possible. We have people like that here. I have a client that want to buy the land in Enugu. You like not listing agent because you listed your advert on them in AjabadeCenter.com, and then they have called you. And now that they have called you, you are bringing you are informing them. How can my client go for inspection? My listing was agent realtor. We don't understand. We get started when we enter. We enter to a particular level. Now, when the buyer wants to see what they inform, they say, "Okay, the agent helps manage the review or offers and counter what offers and finalizes agreement on behalf of the seller. You typically get a three percent to four percent commission on the sale, which you might split in with what a brokerage. Then what is a brokerage? It's a diagram. I'm coming there. Let's look at the buyer agent realtor. Let's look at the coming there. That one I just did now, that's called listing agent realtor. It cannot be called a seller's agent realtor. Please take note of this little this one. Look at it, they are funny. Because there will be a time when we do one small exam to check all these things. But at least we actually understand this thing. If I ask you on the road now, maybe a TV person just could say, you are a real estate consultant. What can you say about a buyer's agent realtor? Or who is the seller's agent realtor? What would you say? That's why this kind of classes come up. To make you a little bit different from the normal. A buyer's agent works with what? The client. Who are they? The buyer. So then, a seller's agent rather works with who? Is it clear? Yeah. That's really the companies now. Are who? They are like the sellers. So a consultant can either most of the either fall under that. Buyer was that was that sellers was. Agent realtor. We don't even put in the two, so you can know. We are talking, it's okay. What kind of real estate do you do? Hey, I am actually into the listing of land, buying and selling properties. You need to know what you are saying before they go and put you that trouble. So I'm going to give you just one million there plus a deposit. Help us buy the property, we will pay you back as soon as we have verified. What will you do now? Yes, let us look at this together. We are still getting there. You will understand. Look at it. A primary responsibility in this role is to research properties that meet with the client parameters and then show the client the what? Properties. While agents sometimes offer insight and recommendation on properties and offer prices, the buyers typically direct the version of an offer to buy. That means, okay, give us an offer later. Your client says, okay, you have come and inspected the land. You can ask, okay, I want to write an offer later. Who can do that now? You can do that on behalf of your client or the lawyer. So, someone that says a buyer agent to her toner, we work with the lawyer or function as the lawyer of that client. My people don't make sense because of, not because of, they don't know how to market. But they don't have the language. They don't understand themselves. As well. so where I fall in, who am I saying? When they ask me, are you a coach? I go, you are a coach. What kind of what do you coach? It took me seven months to understand what I was after coaching. I didn't know what place coaching looked like, what it means. But I was a coach, you're calling me a coach. I don't see that one day. What if people ask me now, who's a coach? What would I say? <laughs> I didn't know. I started looking for a way to define it well and study it online and look at other coaches abroad. It's okay, well, I could do this. But then this is who I am. If I never had that, that means I would have failed. Imagine someone say, what, who are you? You say, I'm a trainer. We know trainers. Are you a teacher? You don't know who you are. You choose it. And how you define yourself as that what they will call you. You've told everybody that your wife, she cooks very well. Even if she's not cooking too well, everybody will be having the mindset that I will go spark as good job. So that rice, that, you say the woman they cook well well. Even if it was not so sweet, because they say she cooks well well. You say, that's not this way, the variety way of the cooking. <laughs> it's something else. How you package it? So it will give you the language to say. And you'll be responsible for so many things. Offer letters. Hey, look at it. You can help for the pricing. I have this client who wants to buy. And sir, he's saying he will pay 5 million naira, not 5.5. You're what? You can function as what no, as what the buyer's agent. What do we do? Or there's this there's this scenario that happened one time. 
the guy said that the client that the, the client said he would pay seven million now. But the company is selling for five point five million. Then the man is saying that can is there any way that my client can pay and you give me the one on top? How do you do this kind of matter now? If you want to do something like that, then you have to have a proper letter written. You don't even need a lawyer. You have to first of all understand how to go about these things. It's very sensitive, bro. That means not say because I had that thing it happened though. That's okay. I'm gonna collect the. Say it's gonna collect the. What do you call it? The the one on top, which was how much? Two million. Uh, this two million. This two million. Uh, one point five million. Go for collect the one point five million now. Uh, and he's still asking for the commission again. It's okay. Then I will collect the one point five and my commission. So how do you pay this computer now? I just told him, I, I advised him, I said, so you don't have a problem with what you are saying here. Let your client, because your client will always check one day, we will always see the adverts. I see the new price, the real price. Just tell the MD. This is what is going on. But, um, what do you think I can do? My own advice, what I told him that it was that, forget what you want to add on top. As far as this company, don't add anything on top. Go with the commission. The MD was now even saying, like, okay, what if I just say if they do it that way, one day they will check. So he bought the property expensive from people. They will check it, it's going to be there. So when did you buy? They are neighbors. I bought my own server. Which did you buy? I just bought my own way more before that time. How come it's your now? Next year is now. So why is it that the land is now cheaper next year than now? So that's why you say, in some scenarios, as a consultant, you will say, okay, no. So we don't do it that way. What we're going to do is that. Pay your 5.5 million there, it covers this, it covers that, and it's okay. These are the extra things you pay and all that, then you give him this total sum. You speak like a doctor, a consultant. Like if you are the bias agent, you think about it, you are thinking as an agent. So if you are thinking like this, that means you are falling to this level. You're not yet a consultant. You just you see the year. That guy was great. Collect the percentage and collect the extra. I said you should write the receipt in that one. <laughs> Nothing would have done. Nothing would have done. Would have just okay. I'm not going to do anything extra. Let me just take my percentage. When I add it, now stop. Let's proceed, God. Friends. During the negotiation, you have facilitate offers and can offer until both parties agree to a contract. Let's look at the other one. Sellers, agent, realtor. So please look at this part. There's two different things here. Please watch this one. Look at like listing agent, realtor. This listing agent, realtor can either cover both seller and buyer. You know, I discussed both of them here. But look at this one here. Buyer. And look at this one here. Seller. So this was one I was referring to. This is most of them are like us. And what is it? Seller agent editor or seller's real estate agent. It's a professional who helps list the property for sale. The seller's agent represents the person selling the property and both are against the party. Why I'm saying all these things is for knowledge, sir. Those are listening to me. <laughs> In any way. It's for us to understand most of these things well. So when they are speaking real estate, you know these things. You know what to say, where you're falling, and who you are. Let's go to the next part. Who is a broker? Who is a broker? And what is a brokerage? Look at it. A broker is an individual offense that charges a fee or commission for executing buy and sell orders submitted by a what and what investor a broker also refers to the role of a firm when it acts as an agent for a customer and charges the customer a commission for its service so a broker is someone like me like you this can be a consultant they have to be called a broker do you know why we have to tell you this thing so I said, in case you have been, someone who actually told me that he said, he said he doesn't like the name, he's calling himself. He doesn't want the name consultant. Just can you say I'm a real estate broker? He's a grammar. So what do you do? So now you there's this guy. He was going to a, <laughs> to ask, uh, you know, he had the investors in the in that in the lucky. They are us together. He said he wanted to go and ask the the father of the girl for, for a hand in marriage. He said, how will he tell the father now that uh, He's also a real estate consultant. He's not a real estate consultant. He's ashamed. He wants a bigger name. 
I said, okay, don't worry. Just tell her you are a real estate broker. I call the broker well. When you are talking, you say, what do you do for a living young man? I say, I'm a real estate broker. He say, yeah, you are a real estate broker. He doesn't know what he say. <laughs> Fuck it himself. With that, he was able to what? He said, that guy is different from you. You do real estate, you guys do real estate too. But this one is a real estate broker. <laughs> he gave himself that name. So you know that you can change your name because of this information you are having. He's of a consultant, consultant just say, I am the Nigerian National Real Estate Broker. Give your name. I'm a real estate broker. Why? Because you are promoting the product because you know there will be commission. You may be a consultant to the company that looking at it like broker. Just say, okay, I'm a broker. There are many brokers. This is what they call. There are many brokers. I mean, you know this is what they call the broker from the real estate. They also have one from the bank. Many areas. Many, many, but they are all about investments and funds. There are some brokers that do not go out anyhow. They are big time billionaires brokerage. How? Oil. Marine. Ship something. It says about four point something billion dollars. They have given you two percent. The guy just sit down there in chair. No? He does. He says the marketer is a is a broker. You told me he says the broker. I don't understand what people are doing. Say they ship something through pipe and all that and then goes through uh, oil and okay 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 I understand I'm I'm just I'm waiting to understand what you are saying. It's little by little. So it was it was that guy you find to the fact that what he's a broker. A broker can also be what? A firm that charges an individual or a firm. Who is the brokerage? Look at this thing. This topic is taught once in a while, and I know this is the first time teaching it here in this whole year. So most times these topics are always done in just sometimes for people that are serious in real estate. They call everybody. Yes, we know you guys are bankers. But let's meet today and discuss what is banking, the type of banking, and how to do banking well. What are you saying? Uh, I don't think I can come today. If you think, when the time will come for you to express yourself in the board meeting, you will not know that ah, I wish I attend that one that day. You have learned a lot about this thing. Who is a brokerage? A brokerage or a brokerage firm is a company of what? Brokers. It can be a company that buys or sells goods or assets for what? For clients. They can be referred to as all these marketing companies sometimes. It's okay, well, uh, we are a team of realtors. When you are saying that what? We are a team of realtors promoting verified products and all that. You are saying you are what? A team. You are a team of what? Brokers. Organization that sells and buys foreign money. Shares in companies. And so many other things can also be real estate products. It's different than what you think. I'm telling you, this thing is very sensitive. You need to know them. I'm not turning into another part of the class. I'm looking at my time. I want to take questions. And I see I have another more things to explain for the other part of time. Now, foreign money shares because of, I told you before, brokers are not just only real estate. When you say I'm a real estate broker, okay, this guy actually does he sells real estate. He has a way of managing real estate matters. He's another package. I was looking for something about my name. Let me explain to you, people that are listening and people that are here. I was saying, what will I do to myself? I said, I am uh, doing real estate. I just came out like that. That's why I was one of the top first real estate coach in Nigeria. I said, let me check online. Real estate professionals, and I checked. I saw real estate coach, let's say that. That's okay, real estate coach in Nigeria. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. But trainers, I saw them. Okay, what will I do? What will make me unique? Real estate coach. <laughs> Choose it fast. Flew with it. Everyone was Googling it. Coast, coast Park, Coast Park, Coast Park. It was going everywhere. So you made it unique. It's one come up there that's okay, real estate broker. Say top real estate broker. Something like that. I didn't understand. Year of this, you have an AK like that, it's gonna help you. I'm telling you. So, a brokerage is a what? Is a what? Or a brokerage company, what? Is a what? It's made of brokers. It can be the company that buys or sells goods. The time that people say, okay, they bring their cars to exchange for land, you 
know what to do. Let's look at the other part, land banking. There's not much time for the land banking. It's another part that if you understand where you will know how to get clients. It's very sensitive. And that part of market, and part of real estate market. There's some client that buys real estate for some purpose. Land banking. Kind of money put for it like grant. It's just an example. It's not like this is what you can do. So if you have not said you bury money in the ground, now nah, who are do that in the other states? Say so bury money in the ground. So ah, no wonder. My daddy used to bury money in the ground. That's land banking. That's what I'm saying, you know. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm only trying to tell you that you put your money where it will grow. Because that's what one of I saw a movie now. Huh? Nollywood, all these Nollywood epic movies. The guy. <laughs> Baba. Baba got money from somewhere. Just come out. Open the ground, put the money there, under one, come back, we leave. And plant mango there. So he now like gets back later, he says, I want to carve it, daddy now. Now we try to move the money. Would well, that be land banking? That's not it. <laughs> That's not it. I'm putting money in the land. It's about appreciation. So what then is land banking? Just imagine now your client asks you. Say, Coach Park, it doesn't matter. I don't think I need this class. Listen to this. The client asks you, what can I do? Do you guys do land banking? How will you say it now? How do you explain it? Even if you don't do it, how do you put it in such a way that you can say, okay, we're going to actually do land banking? What then is land banking? Land banking has to do with more of things like schemes. I will explain that now. Now, when I say schemes, it means projects. How does it come to play with the kind of estate we sell? So it's high time we explain this thing to ourselves. Land banking is a real estate investment scheme that involves buying large blocks of undeveloped land. With what? A view to selling the land at a profit when it has been approved for what? Development. You have to do like that. I want to buy real estate. I'm not going to buy for... I don't want anywhere that is developed. It's land genuine. That is genuine. How much is land? 1.5 or 800,000 or 200,000, no problem. I will pay for 50. Can <laughs> you pay for 50 for it? I will tell you now. It's okay. Can I sell? Can I sell some later? Yes, you can. So, how do you find this kind of people? It's okay. Well, you can do land banking. Do you know why I'm saying all this thing? Because I was inclined, I was trying to market. That was even last year. Last year. Because not really this year. The way I just said, we do land banking. He said, hey, hey, I'm interested in that, I'm interested in that. He, he said, does not know the meaning. But he has been hearing it. So the bank land. So he means that you can actually do land banking. Tell me about it, because it looks strange. But because of the word I just, grandma just say, said, just said, oh, this is actually a new word, I've not had this word. Okay, tell me about how does it go? He said, you were going to buy six plots, sir. And then you sell four later, and you develop eight. That's about 14. I'm going to buy how many plots? I'm going to buy 14 plots then. That means I will, I will invest into on one acre, six plots, and sell for and keep two. And who, so would they buy it? I say yes. So sometimes, some clients that are still picking our calls, just send this information. Are you interested in land banking? Land banking? So what's your land banking again? Let me reply back. This message. Land banking. So, you guys do land banking. Tell me about land banking. Before you see, you are educating him because your friend. Looking, looking at uh, something that's a bit manda angle. But land banking is still like a normal stuff you've been doing. Look at this. There are ways you do land banking. Client can invest in a project to sell part of what they have invested in. Why some? They'll just say, okay, well, I want to pay for the land now. They will not, the company will not give them a check of five million now. Maybe they bought the land for three million or three point five million now in January. They will not give them a post digital check of five million now that you come back in the in December, go on. or they don't come to the office, go and cash the check. So it's just as if they invested their money not to buy the land directly. If they say they are not going to cash the check, then they have to come back to the company and tell them to please reserve the plot for them. So it's a project whereby people are going to say, okay, well, let me just risk. I give you one million naira. At the end of the year, I'm coming to collect 1.5 million naira. They give them a check. That's land bank. Or I buy the property with what you told me that the land will be 2.5 later. 
So see what I do. See what I did to one client. I said, would you land banking, sir? He did not understand everything I meant. But and I told him that what it means that when you put one million naira into the real estate today, by April, you can come and collect 1.5 million naira. You can sell the same land again. I didn't tell him too many details. So I'm wondering, so what do you mean by <laughs> by collecting the money back? I said, it's just simple. You leave that to us. You will get back your one point. You get back your money in 1.5 million naira. But the condition I gave that time to him later was that he has to refer some of his friends, about three. One of them will buy it and I'll give him back the money. It was a very good deal. He saw it, he saw it like, wow, okay, so if I pay for the land now, I can still get back my money back. Then let me tell you what I did to one man. I said, because this time I'm telling you that I'm teaching. It may not be written anywhere. They will be saying them. But I'm talking about the experience, what I have used it for. The man said he doesn't have the money, Mr. Bright. That he doesn't have too much of all this stuff, but what he's going to do is that he will buy one. And I said, when you buy one, you will get back the money you pay. But on this condition, if we are giving you commission on each of the land you are buying, one hundred thousand there as commission. It means that if you bring eight people, or let's say you bring, um, let's say ten percent we are giving you, if you bring ten, uh, ten people. The money you put into the land, you will get it back and you will get you still own the land. So I told the client that buy a plot today and refer five people and get the money back. That was a concept. So the man look at it. I like this one though. So you mean I will get back the money I invest back within three months? You say yes. That's a one condition. Just write five names of your friends that can buy real estate. That wrote their five names. Truly, this man wrote the five names. And I called them and told them that your friend bought and all that thing. The man I said, okay, really? He now joined them on inspection the last they did a fix for the stuff. And they were showing that it's gonna be allocated. They said, no, let us allocate all of us together. And all the commission that was paid normally it was about 15% commission. All the 10% was given to him. I took five. All the 10% was about uh, the same money he bought the whole land. So it means he has actually owned this land and had his money back. Land bank. But who made this happen? Me, the realtor, to the consultant. So it means that some clients, they want to invest, but they are still skeptical. What if you tell them that buy one plot today and then just give me just 10 of your friends, buy them out, you will get back the money. The company is compensating. I just formed it to. The company is compensating those that refer their friends that buy with the money they invested. I know that it's only four people that you have to pay. Look at what I did. I was also smart. Because I know that not all the ten will buy sometimes. And I knew I only needed about four to buy so he can get his money back. So I asked, okay, bring me the ten. So I called all those people. They came for inspection with him that has paid. So because he's he paid. Say we actually say ah no, we go pay, we go pay today. And for this land, finish. <laughs> and when he said that thing, I said it feels so nice. So when those actually paid, I took back, they gave me the commission to my account. I had an agreement. You know that one is not a consultant. Listen to this very sensitive. The man was not a consultant. But what did they rather do? They paid me the money. They paid me my what 15% is my save. So I carried the 10. Then this you have to be ready to give out. I carried the 10, 10 percent multiplied by the number was about 270. I moved about uh, 180 there, but I left the rent in my account. Giving one, I think about uh, 180, 180 multiplied by four. The code back is this one back is about 400 and uh, it's about 180 times four. 180 times three is about 540. About almost 700 at that time. And it got back his money back. There was no small change that they added. They said, hey, really, uh, this is this place is very sweet. It's, it's getting nice. I see all my land and I hold the money. He became a what? Someone that will fat people from time to time to me and all that. That was land banking. It was a concept I used. So it means that the consultant that are not closing deals can leave it on this. You work on the mind. It's still related to what I thought the last time. Okay, this man will not buy. Even you yourself too can risk it. 
Some clients are not buying because you have not shown them your content of sale. Okay, I don't know how to say this thing. It's on TV. It's online already. If the company can help us, they give us a kind of uh, assumption that we already own land. It's easier for us to sell the land. Sometimes. So this is my own contract to say. I just got allocated to. Say we own. So this is this, uh, this. I was thinking that you can actually join so you can actually have your own too. And all that. Then you not give it to the person. Look at that. Because you actually, if you can have land, then I can have land too. Huh? Me buy faster. So it means that there's some property I actually own. Not because I wanted to invest there. But I had to buy because I wanted people around me to buy. So it was easier to sell it. I did one thing I had to, I just made a deposit of what? One after that one, one estate. In a in somewhere in a long I sold that seriously. And what I did was just to make that deposit. I took my receipts. Then I told the MD, please give me my contract of sale before the time. I will get more clients. Don't worry, I will pay for the whole land. They gave me my contract of sale. And I had to go and meet my friend, my, my uncle, and everyone. We're looking at it. Oh, you're going to live out too. Really? That's nice, that's nice. The land is so affordable. I say it's very affordable and flexible. I'll be paying. He said, really? That's nice, though. That's how the people decide, they decide to come for inspection. The money said, okay, because you are there, there's no need to come for inspection. They decide paying, paying. That way, I had to use the commission of all the money and balance my money. I own land in that place. They threw their money and kept the chain. Just how does it? It's land banking. So sometimes, ask those who are making sales. Why are they making more sales? There's a method they are using that they cannot share. How would they tell you to go and buy a land when you are thinking of selling the land? No in instance, they can't say it. That's what some of have done. Let's proceed for that. Property developers usually buy land, divide it into what? Smaller blocks and offer it to the investors. Take for instance, like what we are doing. We bought all the old estates. We own it. We are selling it to what? Peace. Buy two, buy five, buy one, you know, and all that. So, that, so that's land banking. So, that's so the option agreement is usually triggered when the land has been approved for development by the local council. When you start discussing with the client on land banking, you will be asking questions. Okay, how do I know a land banking? That is fixed. That is actually the new. What then you wanna say? What are the things that can go wrong in land banking? How will you treat that matter? That's why it is it is very very uh, important. You do not only study it, but also understand the, the issues around it. I only gave you things I have done. That may not really be land banking by definition. <laughs> But if it is, <laughs> if land market is telling me that it has to do with how my money can grow, <laughs> then that is it. Maybe I've added it to it from the dictionary. Meaning that I say, okay, put one million to this particular property, and get back your money at the end of the year, 1.5. By just this. <laughs> it's actually a land market uh, uh, structure. Or I say, okay, invest. You will get back your money in December. You know you always make sales <laughs> consistently. Or you know how you're going to manage it, okay? Give me some of your friends, or we farm it to at least five people, and you get back your money. Or you get 50% of what you paid. Do you know who are kind of manipulating in this business, but you may not know. They say, okay, when you find a client for one of your clients that buy from me now, I'll give you 50% discount. What have you just done? It means that. He is saying that he will give you half of the money you paid upon referrals. I would get that. So he's managing your mind. You don't know that he has directly turned you to what to your assignment. You don't bring in the leads. Because you are putting what is interest in the business. So landmark has to do with what? That's what that what business. This is business, the business, the scheme. I mean needs because I want to make money and all that. So but developers actually do that by also, they do also do what they call land banking. They buy some of the land. For instance, I know that uh, MD has bought some. He's not selling them. He's waiting to clear them, <laughs> to leave them like that. I have a company that is in my care now. They bought a particular place and they're using it for farming. It's not for that purpose. They just put the man, the MD just wanted to farm. He says planting, uh, is it uh, cassava? 
But he said that is the estate you want to do that is going to call the new BGC. That is just doing transfer now. When they are finished selling those areas, they will just clear it back and it will come back to normal. We start <laughs> selling at the new price. We bought it for 80,000 naira with T or 4. But he's willing to sell it for 80, 80 million naira. <laughs> he's just waiting. <laughs> he's just waiting. So what he did do? He fenced the whole land, did all the materials he wanted to put together and leave it and wait. Using it for farming. Truck is coming to come and carry this and to supply. When the time comes, everything will come normal estate back. Now like the name of the estate. Estate is here all this time. I'm looking for land. How much is the land quickly? 80 million now. I said, okay. You start, you start paying because the place has developed. Imagine if you have actually had a farm. Let me assume that they have found this place to the farm. Somebody bought here maybe like 30 years ago. Now we're using it for farming or just fence it around. We use it for pond or anything. They all of a sudden, just one day, just clean everything and start building complexes. And you are looking for a shop that you will buy for your office. Won't you buy it? You will buy it. Land banking. So most developers must understand land banking. But they go into what they are doing in that is land banking. Because they buy it, the money is growing. If the land you sold for 25 million naira, it's now sold for 8 million naira. In 220. And you bought it 270. It means that you yourself that even you zoom selling it, you've actually grown, you've made more money. With time. And land banking. What can go wrong in land banking? Number one, development and program. Development and program can go wrong. There is real potential that investors can be misled by developers about the prospect of rezoning or developing the land. What can go wrong? They ask you questions. Okay, talk to me. What, what do you think I can go wrong? They're asking you a question. You talking about development approval. Most times, if they don't develop that area or they are rezoning them, changing them, relocating them from there. So I ask you about well, this place is land for this purpose. It's not suitable for this particular act. So we are moving the whole estate. They're not looking at it. Uh, you're moving all of us. Okay, what's going to happen now? And he has plans. When they move all of us now, and they'll rent around that area, now what's going to happen? They move you from the development, so your money has crashed. So it means that knowledge of some things about it is very important. It's very important because of you are a consultant. You get to know a lot about the development. How soon will they develop in that area? Is you need to ask most times. Some developers offer land as an investment without knowing for certain that they will get council authority to develop it. In some cases, developers have also failed to tell so that there are restrictions on how the land can be developed. Look at this instance. A client buys for the purpose of doing 10 story building and he bought close to the airport. <laughs> and the airport says they cannot have a number of stories there. And you did not know. It means you have destroyed his plan. He has calculated how much he's going to build there and how much he's going to make it annually. Now you have crushed his what? Plan. So that's what I'm talking about, the, the aspect of what can go wrong, the implement and program. Let's look at number one, investment scams. There are some that are scams. Investors can be discounted by developers who are offering options in land that they do not own. You need to know this thing as a consultant. So it's not all land you push. You also need to tell some clients. Yes, sir. I like you to invest, but there are investment scams. There are some of the lands that you are seeing. You're asking the client, asking the man, can you give me information about this? And he's telling you that they cannot mark signboard there because of this, because of that. Give me too many information. Whereas they don't own it. They are packaged on Manila. So it means that what? It's a scam. So this can go wrong. Why am I telling you? Because I'm teaching consultants that you have to know that there are some scams around the corner in the business of real estate. So you can look at this investment genuine. It's your duty to check. How will you know if they own the land? You have the right to look for the deed of assignment of the company. Show us the proof that you own it. It's high time we get this business in such a way that people that become consultants will not start just from just, just invite them and start joining. No. You need to participate in the particular level. Understand some courses to a level before you start selling us. 
That's why I like some companies on the island. You know what they do? They will start to just register now. Wait, don't sell us. You have to go to the school of real estate. Where is it? Two weeks. Two weeks finish, they take you to site. When you are done with all of these things, they give you a kit. You know they are done with the kit. Start marketing. If you be a client now, we may accept you too, but we're looking at you as someone that you are still yet to be inducted. So you will not earn full commission. So I said, why are they like the wickedness? It's because I want to teach you so many things to be serious in the, in the industry, in the business. And that's how I'm going to operate. If for instance, I was going to go into it, but I'm not planning to be a developer. So investments come. The skin can collapse. You need to know. What am I telling you? I feel you are consultant. And one day, you may just pass it. Press just hold it. Hello! It's like I just come out from C Plat. Where, where do you actually go and say I'm a C Plat Academy? Oh, brilliant! That means you're going to attend a class that um, you were trained about real estate matters, yes. What can you say about um, issues that can go wrong in land banking? And it's public. So saying that where issues that can go wrong in land banking is when they when they did not bank the land where they're talking nonsense. And when uh, the company they don't have t-shirts for consultants and they say, What's wrong with you? And they keep it so that's how using as comedy. Where I said, okay, investments come, the skin can collapse. You need to say things like the other one we talk, which was more towards the development of Cuba, which is most important. Oh my home, oh my home. Where Vatican I Garden Estate Phase 2 Asaba is your home of peace and serenity. Discussing an opportunity's foolishness and acting on an opportunity is wisdom. Vatican Garden Estate Phase 2 Asaba is the opportunity. Grab your own plot of land for as cheap as 1.5 million naira. Right here at a prestigious estate of great residential lifestyle. Guaranteed peace and serenity. Offering 100% dry land. Buy and build service plot, instant physical allocation, neighborhood, immigration office, Asaba Airport, Civil Defense Office, Summit Hill Estate, and many more. Vatican Garden Estate Phase 2 Asaba is located beside Asaba Airport and Immigration Office, Ibusa, Asaba Delta State, Asaba Office, the Park Plaza, 135 Ibusa Road, opposite Ministry of Lands and Survey, Asaba. For inquiries and inspection booking, call 0812-122-9438 or visit cplat.com. Cplat Profile Limited, your investment house. When the scheme is not approved, when the scheme collapses, it will take many years and lots of money to get planning approval. Over time, ongoing legal and planning costs can eat into the funding for the development and make the development company becoming insolvent. Because it's incapable. If this happens, option holders may lose all the money they have bought invested. Who is the real talk? The term realtor and realtors are registered trademark. They are collective membership marks that identify a licensed real estate professional who is an active member of the National Association of what? Realtors. So a realtor must be a member of an association body. I, I was as a as a of a realtors association. I put this way for you to understand. I'm trying to break it down in such a way that you won't get confused. When they say association, it means like committee. I always get that committee. There's like kind of a team of realtors. There's nothing like that for now in Nigeria. We don't have the, the National Association of Realtors yet. We have other ones like the ECAM. We have the bodies like the RIDAM. We have other bodies like that. But we don't have the National, we don't have the Nigerian Association of Realtors. We don't have it. That's how I can just come and say we are realtors. Because they, we don't even check. We don't check anyway. They are working on it too. So, something like that. Generally, who is a realtor? That we remember. If there is nothing like that, we are realtors. But there is no realtor in Nigeria. Okay. If there is one, I have make it obvious. Let us see it. Would have seen this one. I've traveled and I need to read. <laughs> Check it online. I saw a real estate in Nigeria. Can you see now nah, there. Should have something like that. Nigerian National Association of Realtors should be there. NN, 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 something like that. 
wrong. We pay annually. Who pays month, uh, what do you call it? What do you call it? Uh, when you are paying for that kind of fee, membership fee. I have the original bill I'm into. I must pay every year. If you are a FNIM, you know you call fellow, uh, fellow, you pay. AIDPM, you pay. I'm not sure AIDPM. FNIM, for instance, uh, National Institute of Man Man Management. Accountant, all those, uh, I can also, they are all uh, the bodies, I mean to say, professional bodies. So, to be a realtor, you must be a member of a professional body that's with real estate. I guess it's allowed to be called a realtor when you are a member of one of the professional bodies in Nigeria. Probably. But I see it that if you are an aircon, ELCAAN, for instance, for registered agents in Nigeria, then you are a registered agent, not a realtor. Like so, uh, a realtor is you should be a member of the National Association of what? Realtors. For you to be a member of the NAR in the US, for instance, there are levels. You don't arrive there in just one year. This time. Look at that. Realtors work as what? Residential and commercial real estate brokers, salespeople, property managers, appraisers, counselors. And other real estate professionals. Realtors help people buy and sell real estate all over the world. Let's look at this also. How can real estate agents and brokers become realtors? After receiving what a real estate license, most agents go on to join the local association of, of realtors. The state association of realtors and the national association of realtors. They can then call themselves realtors as long as what they pay monthly dues and follow up the code of ethics. ethics. Why many major brokerages encourage and even require agents to become mentors or pursue additional real estate certification? They aren't legally required to become mentors in order to deal in real estate. And be a canteen real estate without being a community realtor. They have pharmacy. They have chemistry. They have maternity center. They have hospitals. Some people that are not too professional can deal with some of those people. Whereas, it's better they are the professional that handles that. They are, they say, when you, there's a level you get to, you cannot call your hospital an hospital. If you call what? Maternity center or health center. They are loose. <laughs> if there's a pharmacy, then the pharmacist signed it. Signed, there's a proof. There's someone that's a pharmacist that is behind it. It's a medical center, it's not a hospital. They are not mentioned those things for nothing. Okay. We have what they call um, college of education. It's different from what they call university. They, they all have who signs, who approves. Let's not get to that level and start discussing too many things. Who can become mentor? Not every real estate, uh, not only real estate agent can become mentors. Anybody can. All of you can become. You gotta join now. So if you have internet, I can Google online. National Nigerian National Realtors uh, uh, Realtors. Professional body. Are they working on one? Yes, they are. Soon we out. The one we have now is Redan, Real Estate Development and Show of Nigeria. Basic company has to join there. Because that time, you just wake up one morning, you just have finding people opening company here. So it will stop. They come and close your company. They are not a member. <laughs> Don't call us. I say because of you have plenty of money. Just start a real estate company. No, there are rules. Oh, I'm so good in uh, selling uh, cashew nuts, so I can sell real estate. Pay you, you. Maybe you can, but you need to register. With time, time will tell. You don't wake up in the morning and just start assuming to sell things in real estate outside the country. You can try that in some of the countries. But some develop, more of developed countries, they don't have it like that. In Dubai, they have their feet, their team. For instance, in the U.S., they have their team. You may not have it in Ghana, in Accra, or South Africa. But they have it in some other countries. We have it in Nigeria, but not the now. I go together. Don't make Nigeria not good. Nigeria is nice and beautiful. We're not as good as some of those people that actually have those stuff. But we are getting there. And that's why if you cannot make it in Nigeria, I don't think you can make it anyway. 
So you can listen to me. I'm telling you the truth. If you want to make it anywhere in life, make it in Nigeria. <laughs> because love are free here. All the shops you see on the road are just over there. If you try that place, they will ask you where's your permit. You gotta pay, and you pay some kind of fee. You run and run, enter US. You run back one day. <laughs> it's not in no place like home. <laughs> you didn't know before you left. Let's go back to this one. Is a realtor the same as a listed agent? No, it's not the same. The realtor and the real estate agent are not interchangeably. Interchangeably. Although most real estate agents are realtors, and both are licensed to sell real estate. Not every real estate agent is a realtor. An agent cannot use the trademark named realtor unless what? They are named by. So that means they have very some people. <laughs> I know Mr. Sosa is wondering that. They have very some people. <laughs> That's it. I'm a realtor. Come this way. I'm a consultant. This way. Oh yeah, all the realtors. Hold on. <laughs> Explain to us where is your professional body certificate? <laughs> we don't have uh, wait there, come arrest it. <laughs> then you will get to me. Very sensitive. So you have a new one, a broker. <laughs> call your name as the one that you can call. But no problem, no problem, we are allowed, we can call this. That's how you find out that in the Nigeria Center, you see agents, they're not well done. They don't want to register. And are you aware that most times like, agents are going to reach out many of these real talks? Because they do deal with so many deals, they're everywhere. It's just that they may not be that organized. Everywhere. They are selling rice there, right there, they are only there. They are selling the land there, they're only there. They're not organized. But real talks will take it and come and sit there. What do you say? Okay. They take it there and look at it, we'll go and check. From that, we'll go and look at it on the site. We'll look at everything before they start selling. They don't wake up when they just start selling real estate. They do their deal. So a consultant is someone that can be held accountable to properties that are sold. You don't just assume, you don't care, I just assume. I feel like. Let me rush through the last part of the class. I'm going to assign just a few minutes to talk about. Talk about has to do with love, things like this. I'll just touch some of them because of my few who are watching us online. And I told you there's no way I would teach this without explaining Doc Lan before. But I have 10 minutes here, then I'll round up the class. And this is a very sensitive area of real estate marketing. If I am a consultant, I should know how a survey looks like. I don't know if Mr. Sutton will have a layout here. I want to explain some things. Layout, if I have any big one, I just check. For anyone, share, I'll show you some, some things, what they mean. Because many times, we need to ask questions and then we don't really get answers. But we can actually have these answers ourselves. Let's look at this. I want to show you something. Land documentation is very important because it's another way to sell real estate faster. That's asking you, what will I get if I make payments today? What will I get if I make payments today? You need to know, okay, you're going to get a receipt, get a deal of assignment, and get your survey. Okay. Why are you telling me to pay for the survey? Give me the survey now. You're not the one selling the land. You have to break it down and explain to them so you don't have issues with what this is. This is an example of that. This is a layout. Any company that does not have layouts, I'm saying it again, this is Coast Park already. Any company that doesn't have layouts for the estate they are selling, they are not selling estates, they are just selling land. Anything can happen to you. The only way to know that the company is ready to do real estate well, big time, they must provide a layout. What's the layout? Structure. Look at it. Great the it So it explains everything. Sir, so, what I'm saying, sir, I feel uh, you need a corner piece. And then uh, why not stay in a uh, look at that? It's a corner piece. They are facing this side because they are facing towards the side. Please look at this. is very important. They are facing this corner piece like corner. They are always. There's nothing in front of them. It can be have your gate here and you are just here and all that. Look at this other part. This is a winner block. This is down the other way. Gate house. Gate house means that what? This is the gate outside. So they are entering like this. Is that my correct? Yes. 
So look at this diagram. The road network is two. So they're anything like this. There's no that gate that I would miss. It's only one. Or probably will be one here and this because it's on that road. This is a road. Very sensitive. The, the, the fact that how many plots are here? Those will be spread at some way here. In the power layout, you should see that I think it's actually not showing everything. It should show us how many plots. So but this doesn't tell us how many plots normally. Do you know that only in this six? Or only in this one here? You may have so many plots. Or is that do, are we not winning by this number of plots? If we're not by this number of plots, we have about uh, this is one, two, three, four, five. It's five times one, two, three. This is uh, five times uh, that's about twenty here. Yeah. This will be twenty here. Yeah. Twenty, forty, two, one, two, three, four, four times one, two, three, four, five. Twenty, twenty is forty. So uh, that's forty. Forty, 40. It's forty plus. So I'm trying to say that Vatican Garden is this to has forty plus. But if it has, if it's not 40 plus, then you have to know whether each of these, because sometimes you may have only one like this can be an acre. So you have to be spread out in the. I would get that. So it's very sensitive we have all this. So like I can tell them, sir, sir, this is gone, this is gone. I want you to be here. You now take the material to the meeting and then you write his name there. How they sell real estate is different from the way they sell it those days. Flyer did not sell real estate again. Please take note. Yes, it doesn't sell less again. So the way you see some flowers being done, they make it nice, but you will not see at the back, they will not put layouts. There are reasons. Or when you are going to do marketing with your flyer, you carry this thing along. If you really want to make saves, ask for these things. So I'm thinking you should go for this one and this one. I feel your here will be very good for you. Because of your yes. saves. Then you say you want to have a screw, right? Why not go for this side here? We inside this is close to the gates. Just come on like a drive and go. You have to explain all these things to them. We have to read. Look, man, I don't know if it's true or not. Look at these things. So. Those that are watching, you need to see all this and not. This is actually, open it up. This is actually a 3D. That's a 3D layout. 3D uh, console. So you're going to know how the video will look like. Okay, that means this. This means that what? This is for going in, this is for coming out. That means the road must be like this, it's not one way. Now, if this road is actually going like this, eh, that means there must be a kind of way they pass from this side to enter. That way, no all these things where no art to explain them because of your clients. It's very, very sensitive. Then you can look at from this one, it's okay. We have this place, the duplex with the bungalow. You know how to explain it very well. Then you, you, you'll be on the same point in communicating to your clients. They are all, I can see duplex more here. Maybe just uh, I'm not going to be here. Okay, sure, it's a layout. I'll show you something. Okay. This is type, sorry. Now, why I'm showing you this stuff is because of you are doing real estate consultancy. If you are a real estate consultant, truly, the estate you are selling, you will understand the layout, you will understand the survey. You know how many plots is remaining and then that they sold. You have the right to call. So don't go and push and push and push. And the client say, I want, can I get 60 plots? They say, yes, we have it because you say it's massive land. No, you need to know. Because it's not about being massive. It's about are they selling it? Some companies have reserved. I trust Vatican Estate very well. They've reserved some, but they're not giving out. Let me move forward. Ooh, I just came in. I'm moving back to where we stopped. Do you know why this is very important? This is why you may not know. When somebody was having issues with me, sir, with giving me feedback, I was like, please stop. I'm not interested in this real estate stuff. And he just wanted it. I bought the layout one day, took it to church. I told you, I said it before, I can't lay out. Just said, this is the layout of the estate. Then I left myself, I just want to give you something. I gave it to him. I was going. Please come, please come. 
Please come, sir. Come, come. Say, this, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> now, what he meant was that flyers was not what was needed. Anybody can design flyer. But I want to see the reality of the end state. We saw the layout. Okay, so how many plots is remaining now? Can we buy for it? He was just giving me, say, you know what you do? Can you meet me anytime this week from Wednesday in the office? And please come with uh, uh, the forms and that in order and come with anybody from the office. We did went. But that's the last of We talked. He didn't buy that deal. But he came, they came for, I think they sent somebody from the office for weekend on Saturday for inspection. He saw it, they did picture and video, they took it back to Oga. On Sunday morning, he said, I expect you to come with social form. What do you do on Sunday? In church. The guy did not understand what I was selling until he saw the layout. So you need to understand this part. You need to know what the survey means. I'm not teaching this just overview. I'm just giving you an overview. The survey, what it means. The survey is a drawing. It's even what you saw. I was asking for the survey the other time. The survey, the drawing. Like most times you see like a blue paper. Then the layout is what you saw. The survey shows the boundary. It tells okay, well, when they say they want to survey a land, it means that uh, you pay for the land though. But they want to cut out your path professionally. And every time you talk about survey, you will look at it to determine also the, the, the shape of the land. When you look at the survey, you get to know whether it's a long land or a wide land or a triangle. We are coming very soon. There's a class we're going to have. We will teach you how to calculate square meters. 600 square meters in centimeter, in meter, what they mean, they mean feet. So get to know how many feet is inside 600 square meter. If I do that now, it's going to cause issues. There will be a class for that. <laughs> there will be a class for that. For now, let me just run through this other part. This is layer to soft. So now that I'm talking about layout, layout, layout. Layer. See layout. Without layout of the estate, there is no structure. And that definitely there will not be future. It is structure that gives a future. And the only way I can know that to see it. Oh, there are 50 plots. Find commercial. If you look at the layer, you don't see commercial on it. That means there's no commercial in that estate. Because I said, yes, we have commercial, you have commercial, they took it for inspection. And then there's nothing like that. You just lied. And there's things that they will not ask you questions again. Because you lied. Look at the extinction. I thought I would say another. I have all of them inside it, but I don't want to run this through this fast. I keep my time. Contract of sale. It's like a sales agreement. The one they give your client. So you have to fight for it. When your client makes payment, you're a consultant. Look for this document. Get it for your clients. From the company. Can, can they help you do that one? No, they can't. Can anybody help you? So, okay, let me say, okay, you are the one that bought the land now. Then you say your lawyer will help you do it. You cannot do it. Your lawyer cannot do it. It's we. When you want to pay back price, okay, let me pay. Then you must say, okay, I will pay back price to, to uh, my father. Because my father is my father, you can't, you have to pay to the, the mother or the, 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 the parent of the girl. Is the law. You can't change that. There was something I said I was going to explain to us at that time. When a client is chatting with you, you know, talk about all this agent, 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 wala that happens. And it's chatting with you. And it's telling you that this stuff and all that. And then it's not asking you a question about uh, the property. And you are taking him to site or taking him for to go and see the house. Or the land. Then when it comes to pay off, pay off commission, he do not pay you commission. How do you prove it? How do you nail it? And I told my consultant and realtors or marketers that anytime you are chatting with someone, maybe you go and tell someone go and see a house or a rent, and you have an agent that is with you, so you don't have issues with the agent. If they not tell you that um, you are going to do, you are going to do that. Everything you are doing, make sure you have it recorded or kept in WhatsApp. So see what I normally do. If I know that this man will not give me my money, he's behaving somehow, he's playing smart, I'll just call him on the phone. Sir, my client came yesterday to make payments and uh, I asked, how much would be the agency fee if uh, everything is completed? And I say, uh, you will get 2% and why is the other person going to get 5%? I'll just record and keep it. That's a fact. Or I'll ask him myself, how much is my percentage and all that? You just say it. As I say, I just can shut it down and send it to my mate. I keep it here. 
In case they don't pay me the money, what will I do? I'll bring back the red card. And then I'll bring the police matter into it. They'll go and collect my money. It's a document. It's a document because of what? I have it recorded for five. We have audio document on so that you don't get cheated. Because this is the reason I'm telling you all this is called. You as a consultant, a time will come that it's not only land, land, land you are selling. Someone is calling you for your house. I can hear it's so painful. You join them in selling the 55 million naira flat, four bedroom. So when I move out of it, and all of a sudden, the lawyer, everybody cut you out. You never got anything again, and you are still there smiling. If you had had proof, you'd have tracked it down. Read that was some. Ask those big men; they will tell you. They will say something like this: uh, "What did you say? Again? Can you say it again? That I'm going to get." Even the customer, whenever you call them, they say, okay, so if I get you correctly, you said, because it's being recorded. They want to be sure you're not going to say, I said something, you said something. No, they want to be sure of what you said. It goes a long way. The rest of us should start doing that. It's a document. I'm flying through all this stuff, and let's look at it. The deed of assignment is very important. You need, you need to know them. I'm going to run out of this part now. The deed of assignment are instruments. I'll just two minutes. An instrument used in transferring total legal title from the vendor. The vendor is like this, the seller and to the purchaser. You need to know all this, but very sensitive and very important. As a consultant, what I get when I get the assignment, what does it really mean? Are they giving me the assignments? What is the assignment? Who can give the assignment? It's, 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 it's the assignment actually given by the government. It's given to the people that bought the property. They can transfer it to you as a client. I was gonna to your client. You do understand this a lot, but I'm not emphasizing on this area today. And we have done land documentation before I saw it in our stuff, so I feel it's not something strange. So I told them we are going to add it up to it, but at the ending part. So I was adding it. And the extinction has to do with the separation. That's how you know a land is actually free from COVID compromises. I'm not going to teach too much on this area. And that's to do with much of um, you saying the land all belongs to the government. They all land generally. Like saying all the women, they belong to the the family. Yes, and was uh, when they pay that bride price, she's excised. She's no longer under community conference. She's no longer under encumbrance of many men. No man can just come there and say I want to marry somebody again. Why? Because she has been excised to a particular man. So it's like cutting out, separated from amongst others. Is it clear? And then I talk to you about the case that just it's an like like a, a progressive state when excision plan, right? So it's just the publication. Like the same thing with the woman too now. She says, okay, I want to change my name to, the, to my, my husband's son name. She now go and publish the new name in governors in a in newspaper. What's now called? The gazette, the gazetted wife. That's it's just nothing really difficult here. I'm not really teaching this today, and those are actually watching us from um, Enugu and Asaba. What we're talking about is land titles. A little of land titles to help you balance, let's say, consultants, how to go about it. You don't go and tell a client that the land is gazetted in Enugu. You don't have that here. So they have some titles that vary with respect to states. For instance, we have in uh, uh, Abuja, the area of O, which is the right of occupancy. For the sea of folk. So that means the arrival of folk can be start to be like a session. Are we together? Over here. So all this is very sensitive, you have to know them. In case we have something like that. And for that code, we have greater protocol, uh, greater, uh, greater protocol title. Something like greater, greater protocol, something like that. And all that. So that's why you find out most times that we have survey land in those places more expensive than the sea of folk land in some parts of Lagos. Because the survey over here that is registered. It's just like the CFO. The CFO will come out just as if you are saying the land is very genuine. Because they will never give you that register without even checking very well. And all that. So, survey is just much of The CFO is here. And like I said earlier, global CFO. I mean, okay, so we have governance concept and all that. So, all these are titles. And I've got my time. I like working whatever I say. I'm going to end the class here. Someone want to snap? Okay, want to snap that? Take that. Uh, these, are stuff, these are stuff we have done before here. Yeah? Just a review to balance the class. What we have talked about. But do not forget the essence of my class here. Yeah?
is for real estate consultancy to change your mindset. So you can call yourself a real estate consultant. What are you now? A real estate marketer. <laughs> I'm a broker. You can change your name today. And you get to have people understand what it's about. Then the clients you've been struggling with, most of us, you could try to do something like land banking with them, working on their mindset, bringing them to buy or those that are bought to give you people within them and telling them they can get this or that. You understand? Know Things like that. Or I told a particular client, let me run up with this. That was uh, this year, this year. That was after I went to Edos for a particular program. When I saw something that they were doing, I told the man that, <laughs> do you know that uh, you can actually own a plot of land without paying a dime? He was looking at me. How can I own a plot without paying a dime? He says, very easy. Just give me 10 of your friends who can buy real estate, and the company will give you one land free. He didn't know that what I was trying to do was to look for a way to get a commission. So what I did was I was going to get 20% commission of those particular sales. And he gave me all those stuff. And the money that came in from all those total money was enough for me to buy in the plot and have extra. So I kept 800,000 there and the remaining was giving back his, giving back what? He gave to the company to give me land. So he's just about creativity, right? It's not about just selling, 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 selling. You need to know what to do to come out of sales drought, to come out of sales failure. And it has a lot to do with much of how you create things. The people that actually do very well in this business are strategic, not energetic people. It's by energy. <laughs> Dude, there have been so many so but they just sit down and imagine. Who is this client? It's a banker. I looked at the church one day and I told them something. I said that I'll be telling that you let me come and do presentation in this church so they can buy land. And he said no. One day I just met him and said, I want to contribute to the building project of this church. Thank you so much, thank you so much, my son. Thank you so much. Please call, uh, call the other brother from the last cost and the church and I'll share the information with them. I told them that we're going to do a presentation here and we're going to give 5% of all the payments of whoever will buy our estate back to the building project. You might not think too much. He just said, Good idea, good idea, good idea. And he brought me to do presentation. All the 5% five, five of all the people that made, even they even made payment. So they, they, they were not seeing on the other hand, but I was seeing it. What they could not see, and all the five five percent of the money went back to the to the church. But they could only give me uh, to talk in the church because of what? Yeah, five five percent. So it means that you can say something. Just think, think, think out of the box. What can I do now for sales? Catholic church is a suspect. The money, they have money there. People are coming back home. Ask that they have been thinking of how we can. Build this church. So they are going to see you. You know, our company is doing something and they are trying to help churches because you know the church closed down for a while and things have gone down for a while. So what we are doing is that uh, we are going to come to your church and talk to you about our estate. But when people that buy into that estate within the church, we carry five percent of the money back. So they are going to pay through the church. Really, sir. That's a good one, that's a good one. You look at you. You didn't understand, you didn't even think that they are the one still bringing the money. <laughs> but they love the idea. At the end of the day, what it to it, you give it yourself. So it's all about creating something. You can just talk to someone that, that he, when you bring five people, they give you this. Just say something and come out of this issue of sales. Voila, I get it to sales. Are we together? Any questions? Your questions, please. One minute, please. You have a question, sir. There's a question here. How to know if the land is genuine yes. from real estate? Okay? Uh, A lot of scams out there. There's an app you need to download. It's what they call uh, uh, coordinator. It's what they call coordinator. It's an app. You go to the land. You can stand on the land and pick coordinates. 
you can pick that coordinates. I think this is my phone. You pick that coordinates of that particular place you are standing and track it, check it in Alausa, send to a surveyor who will help you verify if that land is free from government encumbrance. And that way to know a land is not genuine most times. Could also be that there is no signboard on the land. Signboard on the property shows ownership. That's the truth. Even if it may not be full ownership on some of the estates that I've known. So because some of them are paying instrumentally until they own it entirely. However, you cannot place a signboard on an estate and the guys will not mind moving from there if you have not made any payments. So the, the fact that they have made some payments shows that they are owning it is still genuine. And that way to know a company that is also very genuine is not about also having their signboard on the side. It's also checking their delivery, deliverables. What have they done in the past and what are they planning to do? And how will you know what they are planning to do? Their layout is number one part. If they don't have a layout, then they are not ready for real estate itself. They, don't, they are not ready to own an estate. Because an estate, an estate is a what? It's, a, it was, it's, it's, it's comprised of what? Organized layout. So if there's no layout, there's no estate. You understand? So those are the ways to figure out those areas. Then you find that they have an office, have a website, I'm telling you from experience, when I started real estate, some of the companies don't have, not all of them, just I would not have thought of talk, check it. Check the website they put on the flyer, whether this website is actually active. I checked three just last two weeks, when I left here, I was staying in the hotel. I just checked, the site is not available. You mean this site where we have been moving and it's not available? Consultants should start setting up. Check if it's available. They just put it on the flyer there. And because nobody will check truly. They just be selling. See everything. Fine flyer. <laughs> so you check the website, check the office, check everything. Then the company itself, check them too. Do they have a legal department? If they don't have one, then, then they actually maybe they are so giving it to someone to help them with their legal devices. Legal uh, uh, service, I mean to say. Then you know, okay, they are okay. But if they don't have a legal department, then how are they going to get our documents for us? That's another error. Then, apart from the legal department, the other part again is what? Do they have a site? Someone that can take people to site? If they don't take people to site, then somebody must be, there must be someone that calls the site officer. That's stroke surveyor. If there is no surveyor, then who surveys the party? Who cuts out my portion of my client for me? Do you understand? Because that, they asked me that question online to tell them, how do I know their new real estate company? I should mention their news. I could not mention anyone. I was careful on TV, on national TV. But the truth is that from all this thing I've said, you get to know this one is not genuine. This one is okay. This one is the half future. This one will not last more than two years. You get to know it, right? This one will run out of the company. We will run to Canada. <laughs> Look at this stance. You get to see them. It is the structure they have that determine that will give you a picture of their future. And all of these things are the things you check. Any other questions? Do I answer your question? Is it clear? So these are the areas to look into. Yes, sir. Go on. One of that company. Mm. Mm. And that's why I say that with the layout. If there was a layout, that cannot happen. So because that time you have seen the layout telling you that this is where you will give you. All of a sudden they're not giving you somewhere else. They are giving you that place because one, you don't even know where they will give you in the first place. You always know that this is your land and this is your estate and all that. Bargain for. The time, so most times it is the cost of the consultant. The fault I mean. Yeah. All the owners do. Now look at the, if you pay for corner piece, yes. the prospect, the, the, it's already a client because you already paid. Yes. Now the client already paid for corner piece and it's written there that if you pay for corner piece, you have an extra payment. Most times it's always 20% extra or 10% extra. So you did pay. So if it's not corner piece, you have contradicted the agreement that was signed. So another thing is that you have to also know that maybe that's the corner piece, but just that it's still water. So how then do you prove it if you are a company? Because I'm speaking from both ends now. It's the layout. So okay, this place now is corner piece. Just that we have not yet finished and finished. At the end of the day, there's a road here. So you are still at the corner. Do you understand? So, so now it's the corner that I will now explain to the 
for the clients to make them understand what they are saying. Is there any question online? Please let us find out. Check if there's any question online. Let us know. Another. Yes, you want to say something again? That means the company is allocated by batch. That's what they are trying to say. They allocate by batch. Uh, well, it depends on the location of the client's plot. If the client that bought, his plot is still behind, behind, behind. Then they have no option that to either look away to allocate him. If he's you know, that's a client that could be troublesome, they want to have issues and all that. Um, but why would the client, why would the company not allocate in the first place? My own, uh, <laughs> if I'm to judge, I'm not a uh, judge anyway. I would have to advise. I always like a scenario where my client, but like, you know, what would you do now in Vatican Estate? You get your property, they are located, they give you your portion, you know where you are quickly. That's why we have that block. So not be as if we don't want to have issues with people. So if I have a company that does not have that particular thing in place, I won't sell their company, their estate. Because they will give me confusion with my clients. You see why, you see why it's good that the layout was there? If there's no layout, I, how do I know what I'm going to say anything? So recently, I stopped launching estate without layout. The ones that have actually lost those days, that are doing phase two, phase three, whatever, that do not have layout, I'm telling them, go and create the layout. Or I will not do any major launching. Because of, I want to be on the launching day and hold the layout day and show them where we are. That's real estate. So they don't need to wait for anybody. So it is not the job of the company to put structure in place, clear everything well. They're not clearing everything well. And how do they clear? They have made levy. And that's in all those little, little funds that come in. So now we have to encourage clients to pay all this, all the factor everything together in one, in one amount. Are we together? All right, if that's all, I think I'm going to hand over to uh, Mr. Success. Those that actually joined us today, I want to say thank you so much for having me. Today was just more on real estate consultancy. And uh, please try and uh, study more. We read a lot about asset management, property uh, management. Try and join as soon as you can. But learn how to get to a level that you can structure out a plan on how you can mix it using the modules I explained during the course of the training. So this is all said. I want to say thank you so much. To meet again, I met Chris Parker Thank you, Steve Platt. Thank you.